Hey there, I am going to do a, try to do another rendition of the feather dance with a white background and swiping with black instead of white. So I'm going to do the reverse. I tried this on a small scale and I'm going to try it on a larger scale because it's a lot easier. All my squeeze bottles have deco art paint and every color. I'll have a list below in the comments of all the deco art products. I mix all of them one-to-one -one ratio with Flood Floetrol latex based. Do not get the oil based. Floetrol latex based. Deco art in the bottles is pretty fluid so you really don't need to add water once you mix it one-to-one -one with Floetrol. If you use the premium paints in the tube, you might need to add a little water, but you don't to the bottle paints, I don't think. But my plan is to kind of do the feather dance, kind of something similar, do the reverse. So this is a white canvas. It's 20 by 24 inches. It's pretty good sized. It has a light layer of white on it right now. I have my tool that I ordered from Home Depot. They don't keep them in stock. It's a 10 inch by three inch pool trowel by Marshalltown, but you can order it from Home Depot and pick it up there or they can ship it to you. This is a great tool for larger scale. I have a couple of colors from the last colorful pour that I did. So this is Royal Fuchsia and Vivid Violet. And I'll say each color as I use it the first time, but otherwise I probably will be fairly quiet. And when you're swiping on something like this, it takes a pretty light touch. You don't, you're not doing it heavy, you're doing it kind of lightly. This was dioxazine purple. This is purple pizzazz. This is vivid violet. It's fairly close to the purple pizzazz. Next is the deep blue. That was my husband slamming the door going to a fire call. Okay, so there's deep blue. Ocean blue, and I'm, I'm kind of wanting to do this in the rainbow effect as far as the color, the way the color is layered up. So now I'm going to do turquoise. I did not do the other, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go more in the green family on this down right here. More like leaves of a plant. People have talked about the bird of paradise and I'm not doing the bird of paradise this time, but I'm going to go with the theory of maybe, you know, colorful, but maybe a little less colorful on this little strand. We'll see. This is the peacock teal, which I love, which is very vivid. I will use that here. On this one only, I'm going to put in some green.
Now on these, I still love the orange and red with the turquoise combination. So I'm doing red against the turquoise. Orange against the red. And I'm sure, you know, if you tilted your canvas after you got your colors laid out, things would happen because they've got silicone in all of the colors except for the white and black. I'm sure things would happen, but I like the swiping thing, and I love that vivid, colorful rainbow effect underneath black, which is what I'm going to use on this painting. So I'm not using the red or orange on this one. yellow Sour apple. I'm going to do the yellow here next. I am going to put white on the inside of this swipe. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put black where I started with the purple. So on this side, of the swipe. I'm going to swipe with the black. Now I've got to decide which one I want to be more predominant. And I think, well let's see, I know that I want this here. I'm just going to add it beside the purple. Okay. So here comes the fun part to see what it actually does. I forgot to add the fuchsia. I'll stick it in here a little bit with the red and orange randomly. So I'm going to make sure everything is cleared away from where I'm swiping. I have my tool, I have my credit card, and I may use 
this medium or small plastic scraper that I have. So I'm going to start here at the top. Let's see what happens. That is beautiful on the tool right here. I always keep photo paper around. I'm going to come this way with this down here. That's pretty. So I'm always wiping my tool off as I do it so you don't contaminate your bold color. So I have lots of paper towels around and wet paper towels and I'm right by the kitchen sink if I need it. Okay, so this one if I want to swipe that black, I've got to come this way. And I have to go that way. So I've got to make a decision if I want to continue this whole piece and take it that way, or if I want to come up this way. I think I'm going to continue it that way. Oh, it's so beautiful on the tool. I just love the tool. So I just scraped right down the tool. And look at that gorgeousness. <laughs> it is so beautiful. I may have to do another pour after this with just a dirty pour. That is so pretty. I don't like that little splash. So I'm going to try to get that off before it dries. The white has pretty much dried. Uh, it's, it's damp in a few places, but under these lights, while it was waiting on me to get ready, it was drying. I also have my butter knife I use. And I don't, I don't try to make it like perfectly, I just don't make it perfect. I just make it painterly looking. Um, that's the thing about art is it's not perfection always. And especially this process, it's not perfection. So here, with the black here, I need to go this way. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna curve it and bring it down. Actually, I need, I actually, I'm gonna use the mid-sized one and I'm gonna try to drag it off. I love, I love the black with all the colors underneath it. It's just so striking. Now this one, I didn't put any black in. It started with purple in the middle, but the purple has gotten covered up a little bit with the swiping that I've done. But I want to bring that black out again, so I'm just going to come straight down in a line. I 
And so with this, See, when you go back over it and you don't wipe it off, the color goes on top of the black. I didn't. I didn't go over heavy enough with that. Okay, that's okay. I don't mind that. Now I'm thinking... Okay, there's the white negative space. And this is so beautiful, the color variations, like this one with, with no warm tones in it, like the yellow or oranges. I'm actually going to come through here because there's it's down to the canvas there. Now, oh, I just, I love, 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 love that. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep adding, and it's just going to be abstract with a little bit of white. I'm just gonna make it random swipes. Why not? Okay, this one, <clears throat> instead of doing the green tones, on this one I'm gonna keep it more in the red and the pinks. So I'm going to do the, the violet here. Hot pink. Well, it's royal fuchsia. It just looks hot pink. Down here, I'm going to go back with this theme of kind of the the leafy you know greeny tone family so this one had green sour apple yellow Uh, black here, uh, and I did. I didn't put the 
Turquoise. The turquoise was in there today. So this one, I'm going to swipe up. Oh yeah. This photo paper is loaded with color. Okay, so this one I'm going back to. It will be black outside of the purple and back to here we're going to do red orange yellow I forgot to put white over there, but that's okay. A little white here. I hate it when it does that where it gets down to the canvas, but that's pretty too. See that beauty? So, a little dab of the yellow, a little bit of the red. Pink. I use my butter knife. Let's see. I'm going to put some black here and try to bring it up very softly. Up, oh, see? When you get that pressure too hard on the canvas, it takes it down to the to the white. So very gently. Really don't want all that black there. But I don't think, yeah, let's see, once it sets up, just leave it be.
So there's a bare spot there. What I'm going to try to do is just drag this a little bit over it. Of course, the more you do it, the more it turns to mud, so that's a little bit difficult to do. I don't want, I don't want to ruin that area. See, doing this is fun. It also makes me want to do a dirty pour. Um, and just see how the paint and colors, you know, react. It's so much fun to just watch it kind of explode with color.
I'm just kind of bringing some color over the edge. But not all of it. So if you don't have enough paint, then you add, because I didn't have enough paint. I think, I think I have it where I want it. It's bold color with the black popping it against the white. I didn't leave a ton of white space, but there's still white space that is negative, negative white space. And I like it. So I'm going to leave it here. Some of you may have said you should have stopped a long time ago. <laughs> um... I think it's really pretty. So I'm going to go back in my light areas where I know that I don't have enough paint. I did have metallics sitting on the sideline waiting, but I don't want metallics with this. It, it's just too pretty.
I love it. It didn't turn out like the feather dance, but it is just full of joy, in my opinion. Um, I hope I hope you think the same thing too. I'm open for suggestions. I will be doing something that looks like a bird of paradise that has been very uh, common and the comments that I get on Facebook and YouTube is that they see the bird of paradise in my feathers. What I call feathers, it's not feathers, it's just uh, swipes, but the swipes do look like feathers in a way. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm going to bring you down. Look at that. I think putting the white underneath it really kind of pops those colors. And maybe if I'd have done it on a dry canvas, it might have done the same thing. I don't know. 